Hello, everybody. My name is Tyler Ellison. I am the channel for the Sasani entity, Ryoka. And in today's video, Ryoka will be speaking through me and is going to be delivering some pertinent information about our upcoming solar eclipse on the 8th of April. So that's just a few days away. And hopefully this video gives you some insight and some extra perspective and context so you can use the eclipse time in an empowering, auspicious, and transformative way. So my friends, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I will go into the trance state and we'll bring our extraterrestrial friend forth. All right, we thank you for joining us for another co-creative video transmission. In today's video, we shall share with you some insights, some details related to the upcoming solar eclipse, which will be taking place on your date of April 8th, 2024. So there are a few things to pay attention to on the archetypal level in relationship to the eclipse. When the phenomenon of nature manifests in potent ways, such as through a celestial happening, like this eclipse, a type of mirror effect is created within the human body and within the bodies of the various beings that dwell upon the surface of your planet. In relationship to the solar eclipse, when you observe it in your sky, it appears as if the sun and moon overlap. This is a type of alchemical phenomenon that presents to humanity an opportunity for the experience of what you might consider to be the union of opposites. For within all of you, you have the experience of higher self and lower self, masculine energy, feminine energy, the inner child, the inner adult, the inner god, the inner goddess. Within all of you, these polarities exist and during the time of a solar eclipse, you are presented an opportunity to unify these different poles, producing a new type of consciousness. For when you unify opposites, positive, negative, light, and dark, a third entity, a third form of intelligence, a third type of energy is created. 
And you have the opportunity to utilize this eclipse as a very potent, very powerful transformational portal. In a certain sense, it could be said that through the unification of these opposites, a new form of life is introduced. It could be seen, if you wish, as a type of spiritual pregnancy that is created and catalyzed through this natural merging of the opposites. Now, for many, this type of alchemical union is unconscious. They do not necessarily recognize the masses, if you will, that they are being presented with an opportunity to really go within, to alchemize, to unify light and darkness within them, so that a new dimension of self can be explored, can be experienced. If you are conscious of this process, if you're aware of the potency and potential that the eclipse offers, you can use this time to your advantage to open within your inner being a type of celestial gateway that you can program with your will, with your intention, with your intelligence. And once you have created this type of inner gateway through the alchemical union, the idea is you travel through it into that preferred reality, into that preferred experience, interacting with the preferred version of yourself, ultimately merging with these things. So when you open your eyes and complete the meditation, it's as if you are walking into that world that you had created within your inner self, within your inner consciousness. So in terms of Internal applications of the eclipse, these types of alchemical meditations, would be our suggestion. Use the opportunity to really go within. Many people on your planet will, in a sense, be going without. They will be traveling, looking up into the atmosphere, looking up into space, directing their attention towards the eclipse. While that is, of course, an exciting and noteworthy type of experience, we remind you that it is important to pair the external fascinations with internal fascinations. So you can utilize the eclipse in the way that nature intended. So it is more than just a interesting, beautiful external phenomenon. It is also a potent internal magical opportunity that can be harnessed. In terms of the energetic conditions surrounding the eclipse, there are a few things to be aware of. The energy of this eclipse is saturated with the fire element. It is very yang, if you will, meaning that there is a type of heat a type of spiritual energetic heat that the eclipse will be emitting. This spiritual heat can be useful for the fire element in many ways corresponds with the physical heart of your bodies. So this spiritual heat, this spiritual fire that the eclipse gives off will stimulate the heart organ and through extension, the heart chakra for many, many people on your planet. Now, this can be, in a sense, a double-edged sword, as you say, for while this can cause many people to really open their hearts in tremendous ways, this excess heat, this excess fire can stimulate what you might consider to be the imbalances or impurities related to the fire element, what you would classically typify as aggression, rage, mania, hatred, jealousy. These are the vices, if you will, that are connected to the fire element. So for many people on your planet, while yes, there will be a type of part opening effect that is created, for many, that part opening will present an opportunity for those negative energies connected to the fire element 
to then express themselves through that opening of the heart chakra. So there may be, for many people on your planet, a type of emotional purging that is connected to the fire element. This type of purging on the collective level can create tensions in relationships. So during this time, be particularly compassionate, be particularly kind, and intentionally slow down. Embody the earth qualities. Embody what you call the powers of yin. So you can remain balanced in the face of this excessive solar stimulation of fire that the eclipse promotes. It is important during this time to really focus on gratitude in relationship to your relationships. Use this energy of increased fire to feed the loving networks and connections that link you to your family, your friends, and ultimately your community. Use this time to nourish those relationships, be it directly through some type of physical interaction with these members of the community you are connected to, or be it a type of indirect action, meditating in a way that allows for your heart center to really expand and touch the hearts of those whom you're connected to. That would be a very auspicious way to balance that fiery quality. In terms of collective consciousness, this eclipse is very, you could say, stimulating of the energy that you would call revolution. So revolutionary thinking, revolutionary ideas, these types of themes will be strengthened by this solar eclipse. This, of course, can be a positive thing because revolutionary ideas can bring about positive change positive transformation, new ways of looking at things. However, if that revolutionary attitude veers towards extremism, which can occur, then it will be a type of imbalanced expression of the fire element. So keep in mind, in terms of the collective consciousness, things may heat up quite a bit. The polarization that your species is experiencing societally, this may become a little bit more emphasized. The eclipse can also act as a type of amplifier of the war-based themes that are taking place on your planet. So using this eclipse as an opportunity to bring in energies of peace for your collective would also be an incredibly auspicious action to act as a balancing agent, again, for the amplification of the fire element and principle that the eclipse will be promoting. In terms of finances, business, and success in relationship to the material world, as you call it, the eclipse will be particularly nourishing of such endeavors. So you can utilize the eclipse energy as a type of gateway that propels you into the directions that represent financial success, financial abundance, and advancement in one's career. So there is a powerful dimension of material gain that is also available and is also contained within this eclipse portal. So you can use those energies in different creative ways to nourish and amplify your business, your finances, and your career, whatever that may be. Furthermore, the eclipse will also present a very potent opportunity to download new insights, new information, new techniques, and new forms of psychic data that can empower your intellectual mind and your creative mind in a way that can act as a type of inspirational catalyzer propelling you forward in areas related to philosophy, 
art, and metaphysics. It can also present new ideas, novel concepts that relate to improving the quality of your life, your vision for your life, as well as the quality of the collective and your vision of the collective. So as you can see, there are many positive possibilities and parallel realities available to you through this Eclipse portal. To truly access it, pay attention to these key points. We'll iterate them again. Slowing down and embodying the qualities of yin. Think of the elements of water and the element of earth. The next thing we would advise would be to cultivate a deep loving kindness and compassion for humanity and the specific factions of humanity that you are personally connected to. That would be the second point. The third point would be the following. Using the eclipse to go within, to unify opposites, and to deeply envision what it is you would like to create for your life, and then stepping into that reality. That's the third point. If you use those three pillars during the eclipse, it will assist you in accessing the parallel reality versions of Earth that more greatly reflect your true nature and the nature of nature itself. The world peace meditations, this of course is something that we encourage. This is linked to the second point, the second pillar that we had emphasized. And again, we are suggesting this because when that heart organ is overstimulated from excess fire, it can create a type of mirroring effect within nature. So, during this time, there may be an increase in what you would consider to be chaotic environmental phenomenon. So if you use this time to really bless the planet and to really bless humanity, you can assist the powers of nature in remaining more balanced, in remaining more stable. So your planet, as you experience it, can move through the eclipse portal in a smoother way, and in a way that really emphasizes the health, wealth, and happiness of all beings of the Earth. So, we share this information with you today, so you can be prepared for the possible changes that may come, and so you can really access the potent powers of the eclipse without and within on behalf of my species and civilization, our unconditional love to you always, many blessings on your journey. May your path and minds be clear and abundant with the delightful frequencies of the source itself. Good day. Okay, everybody, I really appreciate you staying to the end and watching this video. I hope it gives you some insight and some creative inspiration for your Eclipse adventure. So thank you all for tuning in. If you are interested in learning how to do what I do in your own way, in learning how to cultivate esoteric power and knowledge, I invite you to our magnum opus, Esoteric Training Program, 
which will be running from April into January of 2025. So we have links in the description below the video. And of course, if you would like a private session where you interact with Ryoka directly, then that link will also be in the description as well. We are also on Patreon, where you can receive weekly Q&A sessions in a group context with Ryoka, as well as private trainings and initiations. So thank you all for being with me, for watching this, and be well. May you feel good, and may your path be joyful. Take care, my friends. I will see you again very soon.